We continue with the basics of the MIDI phrase sequencer and its MIDI adjustments. In the upper array you have following key buttons. The start stop switch to start or stop the sequence at internal MIDI clock. The key buttons 2 to 5 activate or deactivate the one measured parts of the maximum four measured sequence. Deactivated measures will be overleaped at the playback of the sequence. The red shining push button rightmost is the shift key for double functions. With the shift key pushed, you can call the pages with the upper key array. The melody page 1, the melody page 2, the drum page and the setup page. A green LED indicates the page currently activated. Advice. When starting the MIDI phrase sequencer, you are always in melody page 1 mode. By pushing the data entry knob, you find the tempo menu. Now we change into the setup page to complete the default settings for the sequencer. By pushing the key buttons, you select the parameter of your choice. By turning the data entry knob, you convert the data. MIDI clock internal, the sequencer runs with internal tempo. External, the sequencer runs with external clock and is started or stopped via MIDI in. Send clock. Here you can adjust if MIDI clock data will be transmitted or not at the external MIDI clock. In the next row, you adjust the MIDI channels of the five tracks for track melody 1, track melody 2, drum track A, drum track B and drum track C. To record the adjustments, first press the yellow key button 1 in the fourth row and confirm key button below with the blinking yellow one. Now your adjustments are saved permanently. The third part of the tutorial will discuss the melody pages.